It's that time of the week again. Here I am, grouping dirty washing into piles of whites, colours and delicates. The monotony of constantly processing the same clothes brings out a sigh of boredom. While sorting the laundry, I reflect on my inward journey. The routine of finding matching socks somehow becomes a meditative practice and my brain becomes quiet and open to hearing the inner messages. There's a moment when I realise that just as my clothes get dirty again and again, I'm also trying to peel off the layers of deception and illusion that clog my brain again and again. I feel that I'm constantly sorting out inner things and that this is my life laundry. The process is going on as I remain connected with the central question of how to find myself and stay in my centre. I'm aware of a sense of stillness, an effort to be mindful and to keep a sense of spiritual practice in all that I do, no matter how mundane. Here I am, doing laundry on all levels. I'd always wondered what it meant when people said that they find meditation in everyday tasks. I thought that it meant they sat on a cushion all day contemplating their navels. The sight of piles of clean clothes made me realise that the meditative moment is in the attitude to the task, not the task itself. Seeing this helps me see the spiritual in all that I do and helps me to make spiritual practice a bigger and bigger part of my everyday life. Just as the washing machine has moments between spins where it comes to a halt, I recognise that I find more times when my brain is still and I can literally stop and smell the roses. Life becomes real in that moment of awareness, growth and change. While standing still, folding laundry, I have to smile at the echo between the inner and outer life. Just as I need to do my household washing on a regular basis, so my inner quest goes in cycles of stop-start, noise and quiet, clean and dirty, dirty and clean. Recognising this helps me to accept the ongoing cyclical nature of spiritual growth. I can surrender more readily to the process and understand that my spiritual quest to find and maintain the connection with myself is just as important as the earthbound things I do. I feel amazed at the beauty of the lesson. Despite the otherworldliness of the intuition, I'm here, still, in this earth-based world, finding socks. I smile at the simplicity of it, and I'm reminded that even though I live a spiritual life on a spiritual quest, I'm just an ordinary mum, living a normal life doing the washing. The great thing, too, is that spiritual laundry doesn't leave me with a pile of ironing to do at the end. <laughs>